guys, Stampers. I'm Meg from Loven Stamps with a Bubble Over project to share with you. This is that Soda Pop set from the Occasions catalog. And it is a great all occasion set. It's good for birthdays, all kinds of different things. The project that I have to share with you is kind of a cool one though. Instead of just a traditional card, it is based on a window sheet. You can kind of see it there. And so when you open it, you can kind of see through to the different layers and so forth. So there are some unique things that you need to take into consideration when you design cards with the window sheet um, base. And I will share those with you. So grab your um, Stamps the Mail Club kit packet for January and and let's get stamping. So first thing I'm going to do is take my window sheet and it's pre-scored for you. It makes a really big difference to pre-score this material. I really like to use my um, stamp and score, simply score board to do that. And then you're going to fold along the edge there. Um, go ahead and increase it. You can use your black as a bone folder or use your bone folder. And then I'm going to start my layering. So our first layer is actually going to go on the back of the card and I want to be careful to keep my adhesive um, inside that quarter inch um, or eighth inch border. See there? Because it's going to show. So I find the easiest way to do this is to just go ahead and lay my card front down on top of my um, on top of my layer. And you only get one shot with this um, with this kind of adhesive and there we go. Um, the adhesive grabs really hard when it grabs the window sheet, so you're not going to get to move it. So once you put it down, it's pretty much there. And then you're going to build your card layers on top of that. So the next layer is going to be our whisper right here for the middle. And I am going to grab my uh, lemon lime twist. And of course, we'll get stampin' spots with your kit. Or you can um, always upgrade and get full-size pads if you like. And I am going to put these cute little bubbles here in lemon lime on our layer and then this layer is going to go inside the card so as you build you're going to notice that the adhesive kind of shows through the layers so that's why I kind of like to add different layers to the different sides of the window sheets but every layer will show through to the one above and below it so depending on the size you want to kind of watch how you're sizing your layers so this one is just a quarter inch smaller than the clips of coral on the back all right and then we have a piece of designer series paper, which is fun on both the front and the back. So I am going to place this, but I'm going to be a little bit judicious with my adhesive. I'm just going to put a little bit at each corner on the off chance that it does show through. And then rather um, than just positioning it on the front, I'm actually going to position it based on the cardstock layers because that is what is going to show as people are looking at this card front. So. There you go. Oh, I got one little bubble a little too low, but that's okay. It's just a, a peek of what's inside. And then uh, the next layer on the front is to add here our um, strip of Daffodil Delight. Since, of course, having the cardstock and designer series paper and ink and everything all in exactly the same shade of yellow makes the hugest difference. It's one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! products. Okay, so this is going to go across here, and I'm going to put this down with some Stampin', Stampin Dimensionals. Don't forget, there's two sizes now. You can pick either the regular traditional size, or you could get the um, mini Dimensionals. And I'm going to peel those off. Remember to put your Dimensionals inside where they're going to fall here so that they don't show on the inside of your card. See how that kind of adds an extra fun visual layer? Then we have our uh, pieces that are pre-punched for you here. We have a one inch circle punch and then the new scallop circle, um, the smaller of the two. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp these. I have uh, my Daffodil Delight and my Calypso Coral. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my Daffodil Delight and stamp it here in the center of our circle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my Calypso Coral. Have a birthday brew and put that there on the front, okay? Um, this is a great card uh, to use for um, those engineering type people in your life because it just it's just a little bit different and it's kind of a fun, um, fun way to uh, kind of show off some different, I don't know, just different uh, layout, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take another Stampin' Dimensional and put a, one of those on the back and, oh, that was funny. I think the dimensional backing got reversed on that. Okay, 
So stick that down. And then we need a final embellishment. So I am going to go ahead and grab my um, 2D Fruity sequins. And I have just put them, um, Stampin' Up, of course, you can get these in my online store. Stampin' Up has these um, stamp cases. They're the same size as for stamps, but you can get them for two package. And I use them for storing all kinds of things. So this one has all my 2D Fruity sequins stored in it. And I am just going to grab two of the orange ones. Um, these 2D Fruity sequins are my favorite embellishment from the catalog. They're super easy to add because the adhesive's already on them. And they just add that little pop of, of bling to a fun project. So there is my um, bubble over project for Stamps and Mail Club with a window sheet. And of course, one of the great things about Stamps and the Mail Club is all the pieces are collated and pre-cut and ready to go for you when they arrive. So if you haven't requested your bubble over kit for January, you can still do that on my website at lovenstamps.com. And I look forward to sharing more projects with you and to uh, stamping with you by mail. Thanks for watching. Happy stamping.